Hello everyone and welcome to Fears to Fathom episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike. I'm so seriously excited to play this. It went live maybe three or four hours ago. Um, if you missed episode 1, uh, I put a video up for it a few months ago. It was so, so, so much fun. And um, if you missed it, no sweat if you still want to watch this video because luckily every episode is actually a unique story from each other. Um, but uh, today we'll be playing episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the game, uh, it says Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. This is uh, episode 2. We'll be playing as uh, Holly Gardner uh, and it is listed that it's a 19-year-old on an interstate drive experiencing unusual happenings that lead to an unplanned stay at a motel. Uh, the episode playtime is about 40 minutes, so... Let's jump in. The first one honestly so freaked me out. I'm so excited. <laughs> My birthday? Oh? Oh god, what a terrible start. <laughs> this happened to me when I was 19 on June 16th, my birthday. Um Oh, I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Okay. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, uh, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Oh? Space to get out. Why would I get out? Why would I get out? Why would I get out? I'm sorry, that's a... Oh... <laughs> I wonder how much you can wander out here. Not that I necessarily should be. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh my god. It's letting me walk so much further than I expected. I'm, I'm going back, I'm going back. I'm <laughs> Maybe we'll do this another time, but I... <laughs> I'm actually fully surprised by how how far I was able to walk there. Which, oh, granted, this probably is the road that you'd be you'd be driving down anyway. But whoa, driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Oh, well, at least it used to be. So you can stop the music. Can you activate anything else? Is there anything else to? Oh, so you can just like change the tunes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, then what are we... Okay, what are we getting out for? Oh, you can get in the back? What is this? G to throw? Is that a skateboard? Can you, like, get on it? Can you do anything with that? Oh, no? Alright. Well, what do we got? Got a little hat. A little, a little bag. I don't think I can access it otherwise. <laughs> can we just, just chuck all the bags? Is there anything in there worth grabbing? No. I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. Wow. Well played. <laughs> Fully covering all of the bases for any chaotic player who is going to just ditch all of their stuff. Oh my god. I think there's still a hat though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Okay, close it up. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay, so that still gets in. Okay. Well then, do you click where, uh... Oh! You actually just press forward to drive! We get full control! Oh my god, okay. I thought I, like, needed to get out. Let's come to a full stop. Let's come to a stop. We're not gonna text and drive, you know what I'm saying? What we got? Messages. Aiden Williams. What do you mean? Stuck in the bi biggest traffic jam of the country. Uh, that sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention? That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is true. That's just with dad. Oh, can I scroll up? Oh, I can scroll up. Um, Discord. Yeah, we got ticked. So I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Finally talking to Milo on a, uh, taking Milo on a walk. Plans on. 
Like the skateboard too, so that's a really cool skate park nearby. Okay, we're getting some context on the board. And we're driving all the way back. We're gonna do what we can. We need to take, yeah, reroute. Dad, uh, I think we're to the convention. Can I get your car for like five days? That's actually quite a trek. That's actually a while. Yeah, 10 hour drive too. Oh my dear God. Wow, okay. Oh, but what was the most latest text? Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's currently 8.59 p.m. Wow, I was not expecting to be able to drive. Um, I saw driving in the trailer, but I, I thought it would be like, you know, like, uh, like automatic. Oh my god, can I accidentally wreck? Oh, we gotta talk about that. This is actually like, it's a, it's a loosey-goosey wheel. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Just stop on a. Where did you reach? I haven't, Father. I have, uh, I've made it straight up nowhere. Tbh. I did a lot of walking and then realized how to. I figured out how to drive. <laughs> oh my god! I'm trying so hard not to crash. Oh, I'm running. I'm running low on gas. You're halfway through the drive. I realized I was low on gas. Is that like a dirt path. Can you reverse? You can reverse. Can I go this way? Hold up, I'm gonna get out. So there is a gate there. I wonder if I can sneak in. Did you do anything with this? Could have been cool, but also it, it's probably just you know, perfect. Just a good environmental little item to chuck there. I was like, imagine? Like, imagine, though. Okay. We're, go we're back at it. I hope I didn't miss the gas station. I imagine not, but... The music is good. So about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. Yeah, you did tell me to take that flight. You did do that. And what you didn't tell me to do is take this sketchy exit. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. I'm doing uh, pretty good for now, I think. Oh, oh. Okay. I can turn on in here, I think. Oh. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. I'll make it happen. I'll get parked. We'll get in there. Maybe. Or where, which side is it? Do you think I can reach? Oh, wait. I don't even know which side my, my gas tank's on. Hold on. Is it the other side? I actually have no idea how you would do that. Is it in the trunk? What year is it? I can't tell if this place is open. TVH. Crush little, uh, crush little Bepis, little Bespy. I like really like with how, how the last episode went down, I'm trying to be like careful because I'm like, I, I don't know that I could crash into this and cause an explosion but I also don't know that I you know what I'm saying I don't know if I could or couldn't and I'm afraid to do anything silly that looks pretty good all things considered I'm feeling confident that's my exit yeah I can take just a sharp left and dip things go awry oh you can crouch oh okay okay is it is it for real is it in here? I could just put that in the boot. Wait, in the boot? Oh, chuck it. Hmm. We go with the awkward clothes. We're not seeing a way to give me gas. Maybe, maybe you probably have to go in and pay for it first. Oh, there's a person. Espresso macchiato. Oh, a little, just a little bit of coffee action. Norwood gas station. Eh? We go in. Hello. You got any uh, 
Anything cool? Chips, nachos, onion rings. Little, little soda pop. Covering both bases. Well played. Um, I'm recently finding out my family's a pop family, but I'm a soda person. Oh? Grabbing a soda. Taking a look. Ollie? Mom? I L Y. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It doesn't send. <laughs> Can I talk to everybody? Oh, whoa. That's new. That's new right there. Um, is that going? You just looked at me. Come back here. Where are you headed? You're weird. Got. I'm a little too engrossed in checking out, you know, everything in the space. Oh, what is this? What is that? I just pick stuff up. That's a lot. Okay. Hi. Hey, can I get ten dollars on pump two? I hope I'm at pump two. That'd be such a bummer. <laughs> head to the bridge by yourself. The bridge, the Norwood Valley Road. I mean, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Uh, what do you mean? About a century now. Many people have been going missing down there. A century? And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Can I use the toilet? <laughs> it's not cleaned. You got pumped too. Thanks. Anything else? Nah, no, that's all. Um... I don't even know where your toilet would be, if I can be honest. Supposing I... Oh, and one more thing. Oh, I hate one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. You step on gas or can't. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. There's people out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. I'm so, uh, I'm so stressed. That gamer is trucking. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. Oh, well played. You could tell. You could tell I was up to some shit. My car is parked a little too far. It is. What if you find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food? Did you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. I L Y. Um. Okay. Just covering all my bases. Couldn't drive, leaving my stuff behind. Oh, did this thing like not make it back in? Technically. Oh no. Look what I got myself into, folks. Oh, that, ooh, that was a clean fit, though. I, I'm just saying, if there's one thing I would like to be known for in Fierce of Fathom, it's that I can get a clean fit back in the trunk. Wait. Okay. Wait. Come on. Wait. Oh, oh, buddy. Look at this. It's, come on. I'll make it happen. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's a clean trunk if I've ever seen one. I wish you could use a rear view. I should do it. I'm just saying I'm getting pretty good here. Oh, I filled the tank and I was off the road again. Oh, that's an achievement. <laughs> Fuel up achievement. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. My doors better be locked. Hi. Oh, you're still here. That wasn't you. Then who was that? I'm trying to talk to you again. You heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley monster. You know anything? Big mistake.
big mistake. I imagine it's gonna be a can. That, oh, you're freaking me out. It's just all the way in the back. I might just ask. Oh, is this it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's this. Be five dollars pay. Now we can leave with it. Oh, I could just put that in the boot. True. Cleanest trunk on this side of the Fears to Fathom. Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? And we're off. Being in the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Don't say that. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. It's not expired or anything, right? No, it's not, Mom. We're chill. No way. can't see squat. The car's acting up like a lot. What's happening? There's a car in front of me now, so that's good. Well, I'm just gonna keep following them. How do you turn the lights back on? Am I just supposed to wing it? Am I just supposed to wing it? I'm so stressed. Like a rumbling. Am I looking for an exit? You know what I mean? It's the uncertainty. It's the uncertainty. What's on the road? What is this? It's the bridge. The road looked different. Please, no. Don't do that. It's giving me Slender the Arrival vibes, and honestly, that game freaked me out, like, big time. Is that a person? Am I seeing stuff? Maybe. Oh no, it's just reflections off bushes. No actual way! Why are the lights turning out? That's actually a sharp turn. I'm just driving in straight up dirt. Like, I would have turned around. I would have been like, yo, I'm not going down a legitimate dirt road. Not where I've, I've ever been. There's a car there. I should have checked it out. But also, no. We're good. I wouldn't have reacted that well IRL, but in a video game, I can be like, I can get around that rabbit. 
on a dirt road at night. As long as my lights were working. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, it's made me think of uh, the Beetlejuice Bridge idea a little bit. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. Did you? You know I have to get out and move them. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. I didn't think much of it at the time. Those were heavy. It's either like they were put here as a trap, or they were put here in such a way as to keep someone out. You know? What's happening? What's happening? Am I technically holding it right now? Oh. I thought that it was closing on me. I think that... I'm hearing grass moving. Let me back in my car! Oh my god, I can fit, I swear. Somebody's like right there. Let me in! Oh my god, the in You're killing me. You're actually killing me. Oh my god. Start the car. The car wouldn't start back up. What do I do? Do I just have to go walking? <sighs> yeah, straight in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I'm starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story. But... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Oh my god. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Am I just supposed to go walking? I don't want to get out of this car. I guess my only question then is, do I need to grab my stuff? Oh, 10.23 PM. So it's been like an hour or so. Yeah. I saw a car nearing. Did you? I didn't mean to get in. Pure evil. Yeah, they tried to run me over. Maybe the game forced me in. I didn't understand if somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Oh, because I clicked the inside of the car. Okay. Like, I thought I was clicking car parts if that was to get in. To be fair, if they talk to the same clerk... I wouldn't have stopped either. <laughs> okay, 20 more minutes. I think it was. I'm also like, I kind of moved that for you, so. That's another car. That's the truck. That's the truck from the gas station. What's that audio? You come to me. I'm the one in need. God. The audio is very, very unique.
You're the girl from the gas station. And is this the weird guy? This is the weird guy. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw in the back. I won't be here for too long. Oh. That was the weird guy. That was, uh, or seemingly weird. Just didn't, the very quiet guy is all. Oh, I only had two hands. That's cool you can do two hands at all. I thought they were going to make me one by one. I appreciate that a lot. Let's we'll work with that as we can. Imagine the gamer just leaves. He just leaves with my stuff. It's like, you took too long. And then just leaves. And steals all your stuff. Honestly, not a bad plan, all things considered. I don't want that to happen, but... The ball is absolutely in uh, the gas station gamer's hands. I don't think I can close that one. I love that we don't just put the hat on. I guess we could already be wearing a hat. Oh, do I talk to you again to let me in? Um, I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Could be cool, I don't know. Could be cool. Did say big mistake in regards to the whole uh, the monster thing. Also, I don't mean to be weird, but he's wearing a blue and white shirt. So you won't tell me who you are, where are you going? Um, I was driving home. That piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? Oh, my name's Jason. Um, it's nice to meet you, Jason. Giving you no names. Really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Based on the things you had to say in the gas station, I don't think you should have been. I must say, you're a one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, it's an old car? That's it? I think so. So what do you think about uh, what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Really? Got any music on? Driving real slow. Not that we should be going like fast, but. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but I just remember this. You don't bother them, and you and you don't be bothered. Bother them? What that means. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Yeah, evidently. You don't say with the dot dot dots, the staring at me, and the big mistake. Twelve oh eight. Good God. So hour twenty. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. This. Vacancy. Not approved for occupancy. Ripped off the wall. That's so sick. What you got? What can of beans? Ooh, you can buy you can buy stuff. Assuming these items increases your sprint speed. Why? Why am I increasing my sprint speed? How do I know how much money I have? Oh, 
I got the reader achievement. That's cool. Huh, I thought I already had. Let's get the carrot drink in a bottle. Or drink milk chocolate. Let me get let me get that lime drink. I have no idea what that's gonna do for me, but <clears throat> consume. I was too low on cash for that. Really? But we're not too low on cash for this one. I'll take the lot. Oh, the man is putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable, usually. What is this photo? Y'all yeah, need a room to shack up for the night? I'm sorry? How much is it for a room? $40 for single. Okay. Pay cash only. Okay. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. I seemingly have all the cash I need, so I'll be good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. It makes me want to go look, though. You know what I mean? It makes me want to say it. So that's one. So I'm somewhere over there, then. Two. Just take a little peek. Oh, sorry. Hell is this? Sketchy. Sketchy is what it is. Five, six. That will be seven, so I'm right here ish. Holly? Hi. Bro, where you at? Yeah, your dad's calling me. Oh, am I finally getting signal? Oh, Dad, I might have to stay at a hotel. Oh, they didn't send. <laughs> Dumb room nine. Anything interesting over there? Okay, no. Wee. It was nice and warm inside. I don't have a bed. That's cool. Honestly, freaky. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Hee hee hee, who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stop over in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff? The guy at the front desk gave me this room. He he he. Why he he he? I have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. I'm fully freaked out. I'm fully freaked out. <sighs> okay. Why didn't you react when I turned the TV on? Why didn't you go, wow, why is the TV on? Hell no. Tommy with roadside my ass, that dude's a creep. It's not fierce to fathom if I don't have one very solid scream. We're two for two now. Can I talk to him? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a second? Tommy was in my room. Thoughts? Your stuff is right outside. Yeah, I know my stuff's outside. Really need me some energy soda. True. Didn't want it. Let's get a... Is there any Bespy? Oh, the energy soda, specifically. 
Energy soda would be nice. Now I understand. It's to help move your stuff over. Allegedly. <sighs> yeah, that is going to be quicker. Jesus Christ. I had a room with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If anything, just ask the front desk. I'm trying to get a fix, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He, he, he. You have a good night. I don't like the he, he, he. Let me go get the rest of my stuff. I am just so uneasy. Let me tell you what. Make at least two more trips. Let's go see. Do you have any new dialogue? Do you have a great night's sleep? Uh, no, you. Because I'm not going to be sleeping tonight with the way Tommy is acting. Oh, the energy soda ran out. See, uh, seemingly going to go get it right now, which is arguably cool. Go check this bathroom. I flush the toilet? No. Hmm. Let's just leave these open. Like that way, if I see them closed, I know something changed. Ready? Last two items. I thought my door was closed. Can I be honest? I thought my door was closed. I just got so freaked out. I hate that painting. Call it a foresight. There's something very off about that place. On, Feeling tiredness was overcome but yeah, by anxiety. Absolutely. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. Where would I get that? And also, is there a weapon? I didn't need it. That's not something you make in your room. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lord. Whoever that was just like snuck into a room. Somewhere on my left. Let me go ask the front desk. They went that way. I thought they were going to be going to the weird building, but I think they actually snuck off the other side. Hello? Remember there, room number nine it is. Where do I get coffee? Is that is it in the machine? Is it this one? It's not here. Where do I get coffee? Right there, maybe? Yeah, buy the creepy... <sighs> ...building. Ooh, that's some good audio. And soon. person Did I just get drugged? I got drugged. Can't read him. Oh, 
gotta make it. I gotta make it. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. I'm so anxious. I was sedated. I said the phone didn't work. so anxious I'm so anxious I don't know how to say this other than like I'm straight up sweating like I'm, my hands are so sweaty right now I turn the lights on Was it Joe from front desk? Open the door. Is it? I think that actually is Joe. Did I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are red? Coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Lead Joe. I'm not allowed to open these doors. <gasps> or was I? Oh, shit. This closet. It's this closet for me. Yeah, let's say the filter effect on the screen. Dude, it was right here. So somebody put their own machine out. This misdemeanor completely. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. Go back to the room and don't get out. There should be some medication in the room that should offer some, you some relief. Check the table by the telly. I think, I'm hoping he knows. I'm hoping he knows. Like, he, like he doesn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like he has a really strong idea of what the hell's going on. water. Closet's open. I called it. Closet's open. Nope. Hell no. Nope. <sighs> or did this finally open? I'm not supposed to have the door open? I don't like that. What? What hotel just has pills in a, in a drawer for you as well? It's 
so fucking stressed. Saying hello? 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 Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. Hell no. You wouldn't whisper hello at somebody you need help from. I know you're in there. There's no way I have to open the door for them. If you need help, you go to the front desk. You don't go to the door. Or like go to some random person's door. The phone doesn't work. Come on, somebody show up. Somebody show up, come on. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go where I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. <gasps> this is a volume bar, by the way, on the mic. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Yes, oh my god, dude. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived at the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips there again. I would always take airplanes. I'm so incredibly anxious. Like, with my whole chest. That was like a ride. Like, I thought the first one was really good, but this this one blew that one out of the water. At least in terms of like how much it like physically affected me. Um Damn, that's that was awesome. Ter like it was terrible, but it, like in a fun way, like it was awesome. <laughs> but, oh my god, I'm like so actually shaken up. Uh, also, I'm very fortunate uh, that I don't have a mic set up. I don't have a mic set up to my computer. I have a two PC setup, so I don't have a mic set up to that. So I kind of want to revisit that uh, with a mic plugged in and kind of you know <laughs> see how, see how that plays out. No way.
Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and my other videos, my social media, merch that we have, things like that, all the links are down beneath uh, in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you next time.